question in the markets that the Fed is going to raise rates. Wednesday is monumentally important because the Federal Reserve is poised to raise rates for the first time in nine years. No one knows what will really happen when the Fed's announcement comes out. They're kind of committed to raising rates, and if things blow up, they have no way to tell the world, hold it. We want to change our minds. So how can the Fed raise near zero rates without causing chaos in the markets? Well, that's the big question, right? Well, this changes things. Ah, <sighs> economics, man. I'm back with a cloak and dagger swagger talking about one of the most important subjects on earth. Economics, baby. Cold currency cash money. Interest rates. Never before have I been so excited about being wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I said four or five years ago, the Federal Reserve won't ever raise interest rates again. And guess what? Supposedly this Wednesday at the Federal Reserve meeting, they will make the locked in decision to raise interest rates 0.25 basis points. So we will see the interest rates go to about 0.38%. That's exciting, right? I mean, that would mean that our economy is not as broken as I think it is. So I'm more than happy to be wrong after four or five years. I will just have to deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Starting to see pictures, ain't you? Stay cool. There are other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Yeah. Doesn't matter what I believe. Hit the button, baby. If the people have the right to fight for their lives. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another excellent Thor News economic update. Now, you may say, Thor News, why should I listen to you? And well, reason number one. About four or five years ago, when I took a look at the interest rate of Rome over an 800-year period and saw that it never went below 3%, when the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates to 0%, I said, hey, I think it broke and they can never raise interest rates again. So I have been one of the only individuals on the planet who has been correct for four or five years about interest rates, saying that they can't raise them and they won't raise them, and they haven't. And another reason, you should probably listen to me maybe, is that a year and a half ago, off of excellent information from two top sources in the oil industry, I was told that due to the new fracking techniques, asterisk, asterisk, wink, wink, there will be a glut of oil for a long, long time. I'm talking about earthling concerns, not necessarily off-world Martian concerns. All right? All right. So, on Friday, the Dow Jones shed 310 points, almost 2%, and oil hit an all-time new low at about $35 a barrel, which I do believe I predicted as a low, like, two years ago, by the way. Sweet, man. I'm doing awesome. Okay, now I know that I did predict a possible market crash in September, and that was only based on fundamentals. For what goes up must always come down. That has not happened yet, and people are screaming that, hey, maybe the Federal Reserve should not raise interest rates because it might slow the recovery. Which makes me laugh because we've been in this recovery for six years, man. You know? Like, how long does it take an economy to recover? And when you see the stock markets double and almost triple off their lows, I would say that is a semi-recovery considering that the majority of people base the state of the economy on the wealth effect, like how much their 401k and stocks are doing. So everybody's saying the Federal Reserve is locked in now on Wednesday to raise rates. And I don't know, man. They may come up with a new reason not to. Also, we could see the markets go down so low so fast on Monday that they change their mind. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm going to stick with my other prediction that they're not going to raise rates. So I'm happy to be wrong. I do know we are seeing, we are hearing of trouble in the high yield junk bond market, which makes me laugh. Like, who spends millions of dollars investing in something called junk bonds? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to buy some bonds. Okay, how about some junk ones? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Junk. Junk sounds great. You know? I mean, so economics is a subject that affects every single human being on the planet. You can argue for the Aborigines, but you would probably be devil's advocating to no avail. So that now is the time to keep an eye on the economy and the stock markets. Because whether the Fed does move or not move will be a major sign. You know what I'm saying? broski so keep your powder dry and uh the only economic advice i really offer is that if markets get cut in half again that will be an excellent buying opportunity because either the world will end and the economy will collapse or they will announce quantitative easing forever again and the markets will start to shoot straight back up so just be patient though they could just announce quantitative easing for without a major crash i mean it's possible i wouldn't bet on it all right one thing i find distressing is like record-setting numbers of corporate stock buybacks i don't think it's good for anybody for companies to be spending trillions of dollars buying their own stock back. It seems like a gross distortion in the market. And one of the things is that when a lot of these companies buy their stocks back, they're doing it by borrowing money. So like a company with a lot of cash will still borrow money at record interest rate lows to buy their own stock back. And that I think I've seen somewhere that even a 0.25% basis hike rate will cause a $1.25 trillion swing in markets or cash to change hands, where the $1.2 trillion will swing from one side of the ledger to the other which I think would cause some type of volatility. So we could see a major, we could see major waves and distortions in the markets this week, starting on Monday. Either way, 
for us wonks out there, I would definitely keep your eyes peeled to this week. It's going to be interesting for sure. And like I said, I'm going to disagree with 96% of all economists again and guess they're not going to raise interest rates, though everybody seems to be dead set on them raising interest rates. So we will see. Stay tuned, my friends. God bless everybody. Boy, now that was a nasty day. And a seven-year low for oil prices. There's never just one cockroach in any kind of credit market. Monday could be a pretty ugly day. Today's topic, the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates at historically low levels for more than six years. Is it time for the Fed to get off the mat? We have not had two back-to-back -back updates in the S&P. That's highly unusual, and it usually presages a difficult time for the market. The lower petroleum goes, the more likely it is to have big defaults in the high-yield bond market that supercharge these oil companies to begin with, has whirled through this high-yield bond market space, as many of these companies have gigantic amounts of debt, gobs of it. And these junk bond funds, particularly the mutual or open funds, are proving to be disastrous investments. That people think this economy is still weak enough, unstable enough that when they make this move, they're not entirely sure where things are going to go. International Monetary Fund, the IMF, warned that a premature rate increase could derail a recovery. That if you begin to see a slowing that could lead to a recession, historically the Fed has got to lower rates three whole basis points. We're still at zero. If we go up a quarter of a point, they don't have much room. The key interest rate we always talk about is the one big banks pay each other for overnight loans. It's called the federal funds rate, and it's been at historic lows since December 2008. Changes in that rate ripple through the economy, affecting all kinds of things, employment, output, and the price of goods and services. There's nothing more bullshitty adult than stock markets, and we're all bullshitty adults here. Active Volcanoes. So you think they're going to hike in December? Oh, yes. <laughs> there is no question in the markets that the Fed is going to raise rates. Wednesday is monumentally important because the Federal Reserve is poised to raise rates for the first time in nine years. No one knows what will really happen when the Fed's announcement comes out. They're kind of committed to raising rates, and if things blow up, they have no way to tell the world, hold it. We want to change our minds. So how can the Fed raise near zero rates without causing chaos in the markets? Well, that's the big question, right? Well, this changes things. Ha, ah, economics, man. I'm back with a cloak and dagger swagger talking about one of the most important subjects on earth. Economics, baby. Cold currency cash money. Interest rates. Never before have I been so excited about being wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I said four or five years ago, the Federal Reserve won't ever raise interest rates again. And guess what? Supposedly this Wednesday, at the Federal Reserve meeting, they will make the locked-in decision to raise interest rates 0.25 basis points. So we will see the interest rates go to about 0.38%. That's exciting, right? I mean... That would mean that our economy is not as broken as I think it is. So I'm more than happy to be wrong after four or five years. I will just have to 